Hey, what's going on guys? Gil here again. I am back for another shave. Yes, I am back from the fourth annual Northeast meetup. We had a blast, man. I met so many people. I had such a great time. I posted a video with some pics of the event before this one. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out, man. But man, we had a great time. The food was fabulous. The conversation was great company all the artisans all the guests that came all the youtubers i mean it, it was just amazing it was a really nice time so one of the guys i got to meet thank you very much thank you very much zach it was zach weiss from shave weiss channel such a nice guy great guy if you guys haven't checked out his channel i'm gonna link it down below um, but really nice guy he has some great content and he brought me over he knows i like old spice so he brought me over some of this Mer or MRE shaving. And this is the Old Spice scents that they make. I'll link it down below. He has an Etsy store. It smells really nice. It's, um, it's a lanolin base. Lanolin, coconut oil, sheen butter, coconut oil. Um, did I say that? Yeah, cocoa butter, um, all sorts of stuff in there good stuff that makes a good shaving soap so this is his interpretation of Old Spice Zach messaged me he says you know I know how much you like Old Spice so he wanted me to give it a shot the smell is similar but I have to say the Barrister and Man smell comes a lot closer to the original Shelton's Old Spice um, this one is slightly different but it still smells amazing Smells really nice. We'll see how it performs. I'm going to pair it up with this. I haven't used it before, but this is some vintage Avon. I got it because it's in a fireman or a fire alarm bottle, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I had no idea what the scent was, but it was called Avon Spice. I don't know if I can get that to focus in. Um, or Spicy. And this is... Man, that's close. This, this is their interpretation of the Shelton's original Old Spice. So we're going to pair it up with that. We'll see it. It smells really close. I think this smells closer to the original Shelton Old Spice than the current Old Spice that they make. So if you're able to find these, I found this on eBay for a couple of bucks. It was brand new, never used. So I'm going to be using it today. And I'm also going to be using my Turn and Shave Custom. 24 two band badger knot and brush that he made for me well he made it and i bought it off of his site so this is some of the like semi custom stuff that you can make he makes them custom and you can order it off of his site with any type of knot that you want so i've had that soaking what else at the meetup yesterday they had raffles and i was able to win this baby right here Nice weight to it. It's stainless steel. This is the Maggard's um, V3 head, which I already had. I just want another head. And this is their, I believe, MR1 black anodized stainless steel handle. Really nice. Um, looks very similar to the McCurr 34 classic C handle. So really nice weight to it, though. So it has a slightly aggressive head, heavier handle. Should give me a nice, sa a nice shave, which I love. Um, all right, enough talking, and I'm going to go straight into the puck, and I'm going to start lathering this baby up here. Really been enjoying the, la the, the badger hairs of late. And just to talk a little more about the meetup, man, what a great time. Great group of guys. Everyone was super approachable. I had some good conversation with Ken over from Ken BSing and shaving um, really nice guy he brought his belt over so the champ was in the house um, we had some good conversations I was able to chat up with the stallion Anthony Esposito man that guy is tall you just don't get how tall he is until you see him face to face but really nice guy too great guy great guy like I said Zach was there he gave me this soap Jason from Rudd Shades was there. Chat Irish, the Maggards, Will from Barrister and Man, Chris from Katie's Bubbles. It was like a who's who of wet shaving. 
Um, who else was there? I believe the maker of Black Ship. I don't remember his name, but I believe he was there. Um, really nice guy. Man, I'm sure I'm forgetting some others too. But this has a nice lather to it. Probably overloaded it. But I'll just throw some of this on the face here. And then I have my brush. Man, that lathered up like crazy. I met my friend Melvin again. I met him for the first time at the cruise. Anthony was there, always makes it a great time. Not the, the stallion, another Anthony. Peter Chicalis was there. So, really nice guy. I believe I'm pronouncing his name correct. Was it Stefan or Stefan from the Holy Black? He was there. I was able to win one of his things too. I won a nice lotion from him. So, I'll be using that. And man, this thing. Uh, I think I overloaded it again, but I'd rather have more than less. Just going to clean up the mustache area here. I'm excited. Got back to my DEs. Um, I won't. I won't leave out the shave vets and straights for too long because I really enjoyed it. So I'll be throwing that into my rotation. That's really nice. The soap has nice slickness. It lathered up great. Um, probably one of the easier lathering soaps I've had. The scent strength is about a medium. Off of the puck, um, I don't really it didn't intensify when I lathered it up, but it does smell nice. If you're looking for an Old Spice Mullen Soap to go with your new Old Spice or Vintage, this would be nice. But honestly, I still would prefer, and it's still my number one, the Barrister Man Reserve Spice. As far as like the scent coming closer to the original. Oh, and the blade I'm using, I forgot to mention it, but it's the Gillette 7 o'clock Sharp Edge. Nice blade. Very nice. I mean, I can tell you though, the slickness is really good. The pull shade feels good so far. It's not drying my skin out, it still feels hydrated. 
the scent is good. I just wish the scent was a little bit stronger and probably matched the original formula for Old Spice a little bit closer, but the performance is really nice. And it still smells good. So that was my first pass. No accidents. I mean, the lather is really nice. It wasn't too much of a thirsty soap. I know some soaps I need to add water. This one I feel like I didn't need to add as much. So in my opinion, it's not as thirsty. So for a newer guy, it's probably easier to whip up a nice lather. Because I know some soaps take a little more work. Well, you just have to lather it up a little longer. And maybe some new guys are a little impatient and they just don't want to take the time. A man, it smells nice. I love it. I really miss my DEs. You can hear my kids in the background. Well, one of them, he's getting ready for soccer, which I'm getting ready for as well too. So, he's having a quick lunch before soccer. And then we're off to the soccer game. Nice. Nice close shave. All right, let me try to trim up the mustache without having to break out the shavette. So I'll just grab a little bit of soap. All right, so that seems good. That was a really nice shave. Very nice, very enjoyable. I think I took a piece of mustache off, but trimmed it up pretty nice. No accidents, no nicks. Overall nice. Poche feels nice with the soap. To say, I mean, the, the soap performed great. It landed up nicely. The cushion was really nice. 
I really had no problem. It was probably one of the easier soaps I've had to lather. Sort of almost like a cream. Um, it's a type of a hard soap. But it lathered up as easy for me as I will for a cream. It had good slickness. It had good post shave. The scent is very similar to Old Spice, but I would say not as strong or not as close to the Barrister and Man Reserve Spice. So this aftershave is really good. It smells very, very close to the original Old Spice. I believe it has some menthol in it because I do feel a slight kick of menthol. Nothing too bad, but I do feel a little menthol in there. So I think it does have some menthol, but I think overall it performed very nicely. Just gonna comb off the massage here. And I think that's it guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's shave. Thank you for the continued support. And I'll see you guys on the next shave.